Our homes should be safe and affordable places that foster good health. But that's not always the case. This year, our annual message focuses on an important health equity issue, housing. We're highlighting this connection because the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation believes everyone should have a fair and just opportunity for health and well-being. And that means working to eliminate barriers that stand in some people's way. I'm a pediatrician, and in every place I've lived, I've volunteered once a week at a health clinic. I've seen bright children and caring families living in communities that are underserved and under-resourced. Kids struggling with asthma because of mold in their homes. And families who can't move because those are the only places they can afford. And they're still spending half their income on rent. Sometimes there's not enough money left to feed their families, pay for medicine, or even pay the bills. On top of that, rent can be unstable and unpredictable. When rent gets too high, some families are forced to move away and leave places where they have community ties and social supports. People with lower incomes, people with disabilities, and people of color are more likely to be overwhelmed by higher housing costs. And they're more likely to be targets of housing discrimination. Without home ownership, it's hard to build family wealth for the next generation. Are we changing our mission to focus on housing? No. But housing is a key part of the health equation. Our health is influenced by many things, like a good job, a good education, and safe places to play. All of these factors are linked to where we live, our homes. RWJF is dedicated to improving everyone's health and well-being. We're working with partners around the country to build a culture of health for all. We're proud to share this work with you today. Let us know what you think.